Hello, welcome guys to another YouTube video here. So we all heard about the, the OpenAI Asian Builder, the new one. And a lot of people saying, is it better than N10? This is an N10 killer. So let's see with this video. So today I'm going to break it down for you and let's see the pros and cons of N10 and the Asian Builder. So what we have here is the Asian build, uh, Builder. Here is to create. And how I get this, so you will just uh, search in Google OpenAI Asian Builder and you will see this one uh, in the OpenAI platform, okay? But uh, most likely you just need like a credit card or something just to have an account. You don't need to pay anything, it's just to have the actual account itself. Uh, and you can access it for free because if you just use the normal ChatGPT, you need to upgrade to the plus one, okay? So we have here Asian Builder and then let's hit Create Workflow. So as you can see here, create workflow, we have the start. So this is the trigger. Of course, we always need to have a trigger. And what we have here is the start. And we have here my agent. So let's just start with the trigger. Let's just remove this one. And we have the trigger as a start. So as of now, we only have start as trigger. And of course, this is like not very good. But of course, we cannot just compare it to anything that have multiple triggers here. We have a lot of triggers manually on app events, on schedule, a lot of uh, uh, triggers here that we can use and even the actual app itself. But here we only have stars, so that's mean we can only uh, like text the actual agent that we do here. So of course, because it's just uh, lunch, so of course they don't have, but uh, in my opinion, I think that they will have uh, a totally different thing uh, in the future, okay? So this is the stars, it's very simple, input variables. This is the input text, so this is what we are putting. And what state variables, uh, so you are just adding like a string number, or boolean, object, and list. So Let's say like the name is like safe or something. If you want to, to add something and just to name it and to know what is uh, the actual thing that you're starting with. Okay. The second one we have here agent. So the agent, let's just go through. So this is the start is the same as this start. So it's just start automatically, uh, manually. And we have here the agent. Uh, let's remove this one. And we have here also the agent. So both of them. Now we are doing like comparison between both of them. So we have here the agent. What we have here is just the name. You can just name it whatever you want, like uh, builder, anything. And then we, ha we have here the instruction. The instruction is exactly as the system prompt here. Uh, we have our system prompt, uh, the user prompt, and we have our system prompt here. So the instruction is exactly as it is. You just put everything that you need, like the, the behavior and the tool and the tool that you will use everything for the agent exactly as we are using here in N10. And then we have a history. History means that this one, if we are talking about the memory, symbol memory, so this is exactly we add in uh, memory. So history also is memory. And what we have here, we have the model is the GBT5. So the GBT5, of course, it's it's only having the, the five or the GBT in general, any GBT you want, of course. But here, of course, with N10, we have here the chat, uh, the chat model. So we have like Anthropic, or we have a lot of model, DeepSeek and Gemini, Uber router, and we can use like multiple uh, open source or like multiple um, uh, multiple AI. So we have here also the same OpenAI chat mode, okay? So this is the like the difference. And we have here the reasoning before. So what we have here is the minimal. Minimal mean that uh, the reasoning is the thinking itself. Uh, well, the thinking here also we have like think tool, uh, but it's not technically as this one. So this one here, what does it do is constraints the effort of reasoning for reasoning models. What does it mean that, uh, let's say you are building a chat bot. So the chat bot, it's always better to have it minimal. Minimal, it will like uh, respond fast, especially if you have it uh, for a rack system. So it will respond fast uh, if you are using the chat. Uh, but uh, of course, just to bear in mind that we have here four, uh, four choices, but if you do it minimal, so that's mean the tools itself, if you press here, you have only client tool and you have function and custom. But if you change it at least to low, so what we have here more tools like MCP servers, file search, web search, uh, a lot of other things. So because it's just required more reasoning. So that's why. So if it's just a simple workflow, you can make it a minimal. If you like highly intelligent workflow, you can make it high or low, just leave it low here. Uh, and now let's see the tools. So what we have tools here, we have the client tool, we have MCB server, and this is actually the best thing in, in, this, uh, in this kit. 
what is this so this is the mcb server you can just simply integrate it with gmail uh, with gmail uh, google calendar drive a lot of things yeah we have like third party other developers we have zapier we have uh, all other things and if you want also to add your uh, your actual mcp server you can use this uh, url or the label in the description so you already have the ability to just add um, your own mcp server what we have here also in n10 you can just type in mcp and you will have mcb client tool uh, the mcb client and also you can hear the endpoint the server transport uh, also you have all the information that you need but this is just added as a tool but if we want to add it as a trigger let's just do it mcb mcb server trigger so this is also the url for your mcb you have the authentication the path everything okay so this is like this is the mcb and this mcb tool we can just add it to our model here um so yeah it's, it's basically the same you know mcb was created by anthropic but of course there is no way that not using mcb it's it's really important and what we have here is where I have the output format. The output format either that in JSON or text or we have widget. I will tell you about the widget uh, later, but this is a really good one. I like this one. So the text is just a normal text and the JSON also, if you want the output to be a JSON, it's like this one also. Uh, required specific output format. And then we have here output pur purser and you can use the structure as JSON, JSON example. And you can just put it as JSON or in the system prompt here. You can just put it uh, the output uh, to make it clearly, clearly a JSON. Okay, let's try the other one. This is just uh, to end, just to end the workflow. Pretty simple. And this is just note to add sticky note. If you want to add sticky note, just uh, shift S, and you can just add the note here. We have here also file search. Uh, so while we have file search, so you will add the vector database. So the vector store, uh, you can use Bindcoon, Superbase, you can just add the ID or you can just create it uh, through uh, the actual AI itself, the open AI itself. You can just create it and add uh, your PDF, all your files, all what you need. Okay, uh, what did I just do? Okay, I, I just closed it by mistake. Let's go back to it again. Um, agent. Build agent, agent builder, and now open agent builder here. And now this is the our actual uh, workflow. Okay. And then what we have, uh, so like we were saying, file search, and we have here yeah, the maximum results. We can make it like five. We can make it like 20 we can make it uh, as much as we want so this is just to get from the vector database and of course we have here yeah, a lot we have like uh bind coon we can use bind coon also this is the vector store and we can like add document to the vector store so this is adding the actual document itself so you insert it and you will just create a vector database if you want just to add it here yeah, with the tools also you can just do that bind coon and you can use it to add to retrieve the actual document itself so as you can see and we have here the embedded model of course we will use this one and we have here the embedded model so it's like technically the same um, so yeah this is also a good one you can use this one let's go back to our agent here okay so this is the file search now we have guard lines guard uh, guard rails guard rails mean that uh, this is a very interesting one so let's say for example let's um let's connect this and let's get this one here so if you added here a few information like your let's say your credit card number let's let's go here to show you you have your email address the location the name the number your url credit card number like sensitive information so if you just click it like this and hit add okay so that's mean um let's say that um um like multiple people they are using or your friends or anyone actually they have access to your agent here so if they try to ask the actual agent like what is uh what is the the credit card number or the email or any sensitive sensitive information so it will not bypass the ai and if it fails so it will just end the chat you can just do here and we can just end it if it passed so you can just continue your workflow normally there is no problem with it so this is also a really good one you can do a lot of things here we have also like if, if we have something 
moderations and of all we have also a jailbreak we have hallucination this is also really good because this is limiting the hallucination of the actual AI itself and his continuing error so you can continue an error of course we can do a lot of things here uh, almost the same uh, here with our like we have here a try and fail execute once or always put an output it's also the same here an error stop workflow continue or continue using the error output so we have also similar things here that we can do uh, this is all the, the MCB that we already talked about so you can add it here and we have here if so if node like we all know the if node if node is exactly the same as, as the, no this is the switch sorry so this is the if node you can just do the value uh, one the value two you have here exist equal contains you can just do the same here if or if this one like contains uh, letter S you can just continue with the workflow if it doesn't so you can just end the workflow it's, it's just a simple if node we have here while while mean that this is um, like it's not um, this is to repeat the actual thing like uh, loop it's a loop one but called here while so let's call it like the MCB itself you have to put it inside this one so if you put it outside so it will not connect but if you put it inside that's mean it will loop all the information that it needs and you can just get this one connect this one to this so it will loop all the information inside this one then after it finish everything so it will go out uh, and continue the workflow like we can drag it here so exactly we have the same one here we have also loop it's exactly the same so here when it finish everything then it will continue the the workflow you can connect it to anything you want you can connect it to this if that so it will continue so it's exactly the loop over item it's almost the same okay what we have here also so user approval user approval this one also it's pretty good so that's mean it's required human it's pause for a human to to approve or reject the step itself so if the step required a human approval so you can just add this step if it's not so you can just delete this one transform transform uh, it's transforming the actual um, the, the actual um, like input itself if you want to have an expression or an object it's exactly like um, we can say like the set node the set node also it's like transforming or not transforming but you can just like uh, get a list of array you can have it just under one name or um, you can get like a specific name or an email you can put it here and you just have it under a uh, different name or uh, a fixed name itself uh, if you have multiple data so it's it's almost doing the same thing it's of course required more uh, like you can add you can add a lot of things exactly like you can uh, add here with the same uh, with the node uh, see so it's almost the same this is the transform so set state set state means that um, you will change like see to to a variable itself so it will be a string uh, and let's choose like let's say uh, add the value so this is assign the value to work uh, the values to the workflow state variables so it just changing the variable itself so use common expression language to create a custom expression so you are just creating uh, this custom expression it's like technically as the same as set state um, well we didn't deep dive uh, into these two things uh, but this is just a general information about it and of course this is still new so we still have a lot of things to to check about this one of course we have your code um, and you can add your domain so the one thing that i told you that it's really interesting about this one um, is the actual let me show you this is the builder uh the one that it was called uh, this the widget yes sorry i forgot it. add widget you can either create widget or you can upload let's just go to create uh, let me show you so let's say for example we have a gallery because they have like a pre-made one and we have a, like this one let's choose this one it's pretty good pretty, like choose like purchase add and everything so just open in widget and if we want to change any of this because this is actually really good let's just do that type. so this is actually really good so you can either take this one you can just download it here or take the JSON and uh, and just put it here uh, uh, upload so you can upload it from your computer okay but I have something really good I tried so you can actually copy this one and you can like let's so uh, let's go to Gemini 
okay and we write this uh, to have a red background and a yellow text let's try so it will take the actual uh, the actual JSON itself or the actual coding for this for this widget and after we take this one we will be able to to change all the information that we need because sometimes maybe you like this widget but you don't like the colors or you don't like the actual font we can change the font too we can change a lot of things uh, it's taking its time here but no problem and while it's doing it we ha we have like uh, a lot of things that also you can try this is the best thing here about uh, the Asian builder I think that we will do much on a lot of things we can do about it and of course this is not in anything you can use like lovable or base 44 to make a front end one and I will show you actually I have this video that I will drop it on Saturday I know that this is not a video a Saturday video but you know this is a very important thing just to know um, if this is an anything killer but it's not of course so yes we have our code here so let's just paste it here and as you can see it gives us the, the yellow one don't know why I didn't do the the red um, color for the background but as you can see so this is the white one and if I paste the code so it changes it to the red and you can do a lot of things yeah and change a lot of things of course so yeah and most likely this is it there is like no extra okay. things here yeah. but of course when they do an update I believe they will do like a lot of things but um, well, if you ask my opinion, of course, anything it's much, much better, much advanced. But uh, if you are just starting, I believe this is like, this is a very good way to start here, to start your workflows. It's very simple, very clean, very clear, clear also. And you can start with it and then you can go to anything. And of course, there's uh, a lot of things that with anything uh, you can start with too. I already had uh, this video. Uh, that explains uh, the triggers and if you are a beginner how to start you'll see this video and also if you want to check uh, information more information you can check my school community I will leave the link down below uh, we are an active community if you want to ask about anything if you are doing workflows and you have errors with it you can ask me and uh, I'll be right with you okay so I hope you like this video and see you on the next one